This is the PodMic USB by Rode and spoiler, this is an amazing microphone. Let's find out why together. So before jump into review, I have to send a huge thanks to Lucky Music cause send me this amazing microphone to check out, to make uh, some tests and to let you know how this microphone sounds. So if you are interested to purchase this microphone, you have the link in the description directly to the product from Lucky Music. They can ship all around the Europe without any problem. So this is the PodMic USB microphone, so it's the USB version. But let me immediately say that it was a surprise for me to see on the back that you can also use this microphone with XLR cable. So it's not only a USB microphone, but it's also an XLR equipped microphone. So you can use this still in full analog sound way, okay? So you can use with USB and you can listen the sound uh, through the preamp of the microphone and some DSP that there are inside the microphone. So you can listen the sound in digital, basically, because you are going directly to a computer and record, nothing else. But if you want to use this microphone with an XLR, you can do that and go directly to a preamp and use external preamps. So this is a great idea in my opinion because you can choose how you want to use this microphone. Let's say that all the sounds that you are listening in this video is basically only the microphone without any post-processing, okay? Only the microphone directly connected to my MacBook Pro is here, you cannot see it through the USB cable, which is provided by Rode. So let me say what you receive when you purchase this microphone and then I'll talk about the sound itself. When you purchase the microphone, you will receive it in a box, really compact box. You will receive, of course, the microphone itself, the wine screen or pop filter, as you want to call it. And basically I can uh, detach it. Uh, I make some noise because it's really, really straight. Now you can listen my voice without the pop filter. It's, let me say, you can listen much more bass and of course the S are really pronounced. So this is the uh, pop filter. It's all in plastic cause you can also stretch it basically. It's all in rubber plastic and foam, but it's really well made cause you can protect also all the side of the microphone. Since this is a podcasting, broadcasting microphone, you only want to listen the direct source, okay? So this is really, really great. Let me uh, put again on. Okay, now this is my voice with the uh, pop filter. Then you will receive, of course, the cable. I think the cable is three meters long because it's pretty, pretty long cable. And I really appreciate that uh, Rode included this cable cause uh, you can have clean desk, for example, because if you don't have the PC or your Mac uh, near you, you can also still use the microphone without the PC near you. So you can have a really clean desk when you talk with this microphone. And that's it, basically. There is no any other accessories. Talking about the microphone itself, I really like the looking. It's pretty minimal and I like the overall design and finish. This black matte finish is really great and the work is really precise, guys. I really appreciate the, the looking and I really appreciate how the microphone stands on your microphone stands, of course, uh, because you can really uh, manage it really, really well. Back on the microphone, you can see uh, basically two plugs, the plug for your headphones, so you can monitor directly from the microphone your sound uh, thanks to the volume here, basically you have a rotary knob and you can decide how much volume you want to listen on your headphones. This is only the volume for the headphones, only the output, not the volume for the preamp. You have to manage the preamp of the microphone directly on your audio interface if you use an XLR cable or your sound preferences in your PC or Mac. So you have to decide all from computer. And this is a bit a downside because if you want to use all from the microphone, it was better to have also the preamp gain here. Of course, covered by a tap, you can see the XLR plug. Let me show you here. Basically, I can detach this. I don't know if you can see now, 
there is a hole with the XLR. So basically, you can connect your XLR cable directly to your audio interface. If you want to maybe uh, preamp this microphone with some other character of other preamps. So up to you. The microphone, as you can listen, sounds pretty decent. I really like the sound and seems that the sound is ready for a podcast. So sounds really um, not so balanced, but really equalized. So I'm really impressed uh, of, of the sound of this microphone because it seems that there are already compressor and maybe some equalizer. And if I go really close, let me adjust. So if I go really close to the capsule, you can listen my voice that it's really, really, I don't know, really presence, really compressed. So I really like the sound. Back, you have also the LED status. It's a green LED and it's telling you that basically the microphone is connected to your USB uh, plug of your uh, PC or Mac. So guys, this is the sound of this microphone. I think it sounds really, really great. Let's try the rejection test. So this is a sound really close to the capsule. Let me go aside. This is the sound. This is the sound of my voice, as you can listen, has been rejected. Now again toward the capsule, you can listen my voice now. Again from the edge, on the other side, as you can listen. Now again on the capsule. So this is how this microphone sounds and I think it sounds really, really great. Let me mention that the preamp gain is really, really loud and now I'm less than uh, half position of the slider of the preamp gain. So this can be really, really loud. And also the volume that I'm listening from my headphones, you cannot listen this, but trust me, are really, really loud. Even if I'm using these Bayer Dynamic DT770 headphones, and these are in 80 ohm, which is not so low for a podcast microphone or a normal consumer uh, headphones. So this is a, a studio headphone and requires normally a, a good preamp, not so high current preamp, but you know, with this microphone sounds pretty, pretty loud, loud enough and I can clearly listen to me. So this is the sound again without any post-processing. Guys, you have the link in the description if you're interested to purchase this amazing microphone from Lucky Music. So again, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about this amazing microphone and of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.